In this video, we'll look at the header and footer tags, and we'll also style them with CSS. The header and footer tags belong to a group of HTML elements referred to as semantic elements. Like the div tag, these elements serve as containers, but they also impart specific context and significance to the enclosed content. Consider the nav tag as an example. It's designed to contain navigation links. The inherent meaning assigned to these semantic elements supports search engines and assistive technologies in identifying their purpose. Additionally, they enhance the clarity and manageability of HTML code for developers. For those that are interested, I have another video that demonstrates the use of these semantic tags in building a sample news web page. There's also a companion video that applies CSS styling to it. You'll find the links to both videos in the description below. So how are the header and footer element used? Let's start with the header element. The header element is a container typically placed at the top of the page. It's not just for headers though, it's for any introductory content. This could include your site's logo, navigation links, or even a search bar. In this example, it includes a heading tag and a navigation section. As for the footer element, it's typically at the bottom of the page. It often contains information like copyright notices, contact details, or links to privacy policies. In this example, it contains a copyright notice. Even though header and footer tags are typically located at the top and bottom of the page, they are not limited to just one appearance on a page. You can have multiple header and footer elements within the same document. You can have header and footer elements within article, section, and aside elements to create distinct blocks of content, each with its own introduction and conclusion. This example contains both a header and footer element within an article element. Now let's move on to CSS styling. This example already has styles applied to the navigation and main elements, so let's add styles to the header and footer. This will align the text to the center and add padding. This will set the background and text colors. I want different styles applied to the header and footer elements that are within the article element, and so I'll add these styles. These styles also center the text, add padding, and set colors, but in addition, a style was added to round the corners. Now I'll add one more style to make the top border of the footer element red. Since I don't want this applied to the footer element within the article element, I'll specify it this way. And there you have it. We've explored how these semantic elements can structure your content and enhance the user experience on your web pages. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.